And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Fizz. We're going to be playing some Fizz. It's been a little bit since we played a competitive Fizz deck. We're going to be doing that with Draven here with Noxus and Bilgewater being aggressive and also having elusives. Of course, Fizz can be elusive, but then we have Golden Narwhal, Zaps Brayfin, Slippery Wave Rider. So we're going to have some good elusive attackers and pairing them with Noxus with other good just efficient threats that aren't necessarily elusive, but just good efficient threats. We got Precious Pet, hard to block, uh, Legion Grenadier with that last breath, um, the Overwhelm for Iron Ballista, and of course Draven. And the reason why Draven and Fizz work really well together is because Draven creates spinning axes, which are zero mana spells. And so zero mana spells you can use to protect Fizz, right? Because they can't, they can't kill Fizz if you play a spell. <clears throat> that uh, gets rid of the thing that's targeting the Fizz. So that's just a really cool combination there with the Spinning Axe with the Fizz. Plus you can use that to give Fizz elusive. We also have, then we have like, we're going to be real aggressive. So we have these Noxus spells that are all about dealing damage. Elixir of Iron, Brother's Bond. You know, basically trying to use Brother's Bond as a two mana decimate. Putting on two things that aren't blocked. Kind of the same thing with Elixir of Wrath. One mana, deal three damage to them. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's see how this does. We have a few other spells as well, our spray fin, and that's our deck. All right, Draven Fizz, five games in ranked. Ooh, playing against keg control. So this deck that we're playing against is amazing against aggro. We are currently playing aggro, so this is not a good combination. Not a good combination for us. I'll be surprised if we win this, because this is... Like, they are playing the quintessential anti-aggro deck. Leading with uh, Precious Pet, so we can try to have, like, Brothers Bond help protect Fizz. You pay. I talk to spirits. These are my rules. I'm, I'm just worried about Gohard, right? Like, I'm worried about playing Fizz and they play Gohard. So I want to make sure that we can protect Fizz from Gohard. Wow. That's the best thing to hit. A 2-4. Yep, and they had to go hard. Maybe I guess I should have I guess I should have noxion fervor right there. That's yeah, that's what I should have done. Is I should have like when they they targeted my thing to go hard, I should noxion fervor it, kill the three one, and then that would let me attack with the fizz. Probably should have done that. I still would have dealt four damage to them, but I would have I would had the two one still alive. Deal me in. Uh. Who says I don't share? We're not very close to leveling up Fizz. Bang. You can kind of see why their deck is just great against <clears throat> against aggro. Uh, this, so yeah, we're gonna be playing like my opponent's deck. We're gonna be playing this later. Keg control. Okay, what are they looking at? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
damage. That doesn't kill me. So I killed it so they didn't get to drain. My plan is just decimate them, and then attack with Fizz and have the Spitting Axe protect Fizz. That's my plan. If they have, you know, like a spray fin, they got me. I didn't really care about blocking because their attack didn't kill me. But yeah, I guess I could have let it happen, but I'd, I'd rather just... Like, that attack didn't kill me, but the next attack was going to kill me, so, like, the blocking just doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, if I'm at two or if I'm at four, there's no difference. Alright, no spray fin. There we go! <clears throat> but them not draining that two, that was a big difference. Because, like, if they would have drained the two, I wouldn't have had lethal. I would have had to use the spinning axe first. Ugh. Same kind of deck. <laughs> Why are you playing against Bilgewater Shadow Isles, specifically Shadow Isles? Well. Wave Rider can do a bunch of damage, but obviously it's our very top end card. Okay, we got a Fizz. We'll see if Fizz can steal another one. Um, do I want to play Fizz now, though, or maybe we just wait? Like, maybe we just wait, because, like, if I just play Fizz and they play a blocker, I'm not going to just, like, Elixir of Wrath to do damage to them. But I guess... I guess I can't really wait, because if I want to play Draven on 3, Sprayfin on 4, Wave Rider on 5, I don't really have the opportunity to play Fizz another time until turn 6, so... Plus, using that, that mana, that, whoops, using that one mana right there gives us an extra mana to attune with the spray fin. What's the deal with these Grasp the Undying decks? Yeah, I could go for Transfusion slash Pocket Aces with Sprayfin to protect against that. Um, but I'm just going to go with the Draven instead. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay, they did have it. Something for all of you. Okay, in the round. So could have gone the Noxion Fervor on the Fizz and kill the Twisted Fate. But I'm just going to keep it to maybe go upstairs, you know, with all this other aggressive stuff that we have. Oh. Okay. That's what we're doing, huh? We're playing big elusives. I guess that's what we're doing these days. Another slippery wave rider. That's enticing, and but so is like you know ballista plus grenadier. Um, I guess we go ballista plus grenadier. Uh, I don't think we play spray fin. You know, with this spray fin not matching up against the three three. Obviously, I have spinning axes, of course, but. Let's just play these things. Okay, I think I, I think I just don't want them to have the the one one spiraling to to be able to block with, and I, I'm definitely considering just killing the twisted fate. Just so I don't have to worry about that thing leveling up. 
What are you waiting for? I think I'll do that. So they don't they don't get the drain for one. They don't get a spiderling to block Draven. But I'm I'm worried about Twist of Fate level up. Might as well. I know we could level up Draven if I, you know, one discard like the Elixir of Wrath. I don't really want to do that. We'll just get a one out of two and keep two spinning axes. So they could have like the uh, maybe Devour Adepts next turn. Maybe Ruination, but probably not. Not the best draw. All right, I'm gonna go with the Wave Rider. I know that the Sprayfin grabs me a spell, but I'll take the thing that matches up good against what they got. They must have been having like some kind of connection issues. I'll just go to my turn and attack. It must be having some kind of connection issues. All right, well, a disappointing end. I'm pretty confident that we were going to be winning that game. Whatever. Ah, <laughs> we cannot get away from Bilge Water Shadow Isles. Three for three. This is another Go Hard deck. Can't get away from Go Hard. No, I don't want my Fizz to die to Go Hard. We're gonna wait on that. I pull the strings. Spitter out. From the darkness. So do I want to trade Iron Ballista for Elise plus a Go Hard? I don't know, I'll just go this one one. You'll serve me one way or another. One way or another. All right, well, I guess I gotta kill this at least to keep it from leveling up, I guess. Good. Not really what I wanted to do. All right, so we got five cards. They got four. They got the two one ones. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I really hope they do not have spray fins, right? Like I hope I hope they like these spray fins. Gotta go with the oh, they got spray fins. That's too bad. <clears throat> I need to stop having elusives. Keep up, keep up. Ooh. They're going with nab. That could be bad. Eyes up here. Oh, come on. Out. Really? Prowling cutthroat? Card blocks Fizz. I'm gonna grab my slippery wave rider. Okay, I like the Draven draw. Open wide, sugar. Why are you here? 
Sit right there and claw at me. Oh. So playing Draven means that I only have one spell for protection for the Fizz. So to keep two spells available, I need to play the Golden Narwhal. <clears throat> Instead of Draven. Oh, I guess, no, because I'd have two spells because then I'd get, I'd get the Spinning Axe. Duh. That's a great Withering Wheel. At least the good news is these Withering Wheel grass, the one dying, they're still at 20. So they're not going to heal their Nexus any. That's the good news. Time for the main event. All the Fizz. Okay, that's a lot of them at Fizz. This should stop every single one of them, right? Stop all. Yes. Okay, good. So let's go Let's go pick a card. And get rid of the precious pet. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job, Fizz. Do I want to discard Fervor to level up Fizz and we gain... Yeah, I do. Alright, so I should have shuffled Fervor back in and discarded the 2-1. I didn't quite think this through. This you know, allows me to attack with the Draven here. We get another Spinning Axe. You know, we're re replacing Fervor with Chum the Waters, which... You know, I don't, I don't know if that's like the best replacement, but we got one out of two with the Draven, and we have a leveled up Fizz now. Ooh. But I have all these Elixir of Wraths on the defensive turn. Time for the money makers. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Let's level up Draven. Do wonder if their plan is ruination. What's my name? It might be like ruination's like a way to get rid of Fizz. Okay, take Elixir of Wrath. No, Golden Narwhal. Nothing blocks. That card's already vulnerable, though, so I can challenge it. Feel me in. That was a so bad play by them. They should just be gold carding. I guess I can't protect my Fizz and give it elusive. You know, have, I can't have it unblockable and protect it. Can't do both of those things. So obviously we're gonna do, do this. we're gonna do these two, obviously. I could have gone for lethal instead of having my grenadier trade. Yeah, yeah, if I act something, yeah, again, I could have gone for lethal, but yeah, we don't know. They just have any kind of removal or any kind of nexus healing or anything. So that decimate, that was from me, of course. They're not playing 
Noxus, so that's the other card they stole with. <clears throat> Spinning Axe. Okay. That was the other card they stole with uh, the Pilfer Goods earlier. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah, we had, so we had a Brother's Bond and a Pocket Aces. And then they've dealt... Yeah, they dealt... Uh, so that would normally have Fizz be a 7-3, but they, they did deal a damage to Fizz with, I think, a red card earlier. Three cards in hand. By me playing the Grenadier, we give them all of the information. They, of course, know both of these cards. Draven created one, Fizz created the other. Never lost a fair game or played one. Dead in their tracks. Good call. Last time they didn't do gold card. This time they figured it out. <clears throat> Fizz can't stop gold card. So I do have to block Twisted Fate. If they attack Zap Spray Fin, Twisted Fate, I have to block. Because uh, Spinning Axe would represent 5 damage. So we have to block with our Grenadier. Alright, we still get the 5-2 anyway. So that's just good for me. They did that right there. It used to be where you didn't get the long tooth, but they changed the wording of the card. So that you still get the long tooth. It's two separate things. Grant an enemy vulnerable and summon long tooth. It's two, two separate things. So now we don't necessarily need to block anymore. We have seen them play warning shot. So they could do this, then have like a couple of warning shots. I guess it's it's safest to block. But it makes my attack worse, right? Like if they like this makes this is worse against, like, you know, Grasp the Undying, which we've also seen. You can just have, like, one warning shot and one unspeakable horror. Like, Spinning Axe discard the other thing. That's a good draw. That should still be game. That heals them for three, but then they take three here, take three there, so, yep. Jeez. All right, we're three and oh with Draven Fizz. Man, we have fought through three Bilgewater Shadow Isles decks. Three decks with all these Shadow Isles removal. And not a bot with a sub. So it's not Shadow Isles. So that could be good. Maybe just keep Narwhal into Draven. I'm not even sure if like the Narwhal is gonna be that great. They're gonna have like the the uh, Daybreak cards that are really good at blocking at fearsome things. So fairly unlikely the Precious Pet gets in on turn two. So, yeah, they go. Two mana, three two. All right, so they're playing the Slurry Soldier turn one. That means that that thing can't block on turn two. So that's good, because I do want to play the Golden Narwhal. Um, yeah, like we're just gonna be playing this. I'll trade with the Mountain Goat. Fine trade. Clad in shining sunlight. Time for the main event. Oh, golden narwhal, this is why you're not very good. Devotion through battle. This is why you're not very good.
My best play against just Leona is simply attacking right now. Let's do this. Maybe I do. Maybe I just do that. Otherwise, you know, I can Fizz and Brothers Bond and a bunch of stuff. Cool. I'm really glad they just took it. Get that damage in. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Fizz is lit! Iron Ballista. All right, it's about to be fizz time. Oh boy, here I go. If everything plays out perfectly with with like these four cards here, these four, I could do fourteen damage to them next turn. So, uh, so instead, I think I'll just play this Iron Ballista. That would be, the math that I was doing was have Spinning Axe discard Iron Ballista, this Spinning Axe discard whatever we draw, put those both on the Draven, Whirling Death the Draven, Draven levels up, then has Overwhelm, and you kill whatever you blocked. Now we're cooking. Okay. Five mana, get rid of my Spinning Axes. Cool me. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, so we'll go with you and you. You cannot sway me. No mercy for heretics. Back heretic. Alright, put some down to five. I'll just do that. We could, we could keep the 4-3, you know, if I would go Whirling Death there, we could keep the 4-3 alive and do an extra 2 points of damage to them to put them down to 3. But that that would open us up to, like, single combat. I'm not playing, I'm not going to play the 2-1. I'm going to have the 2-1 be able to discard to Spinning Axe. Glorious light rains down. Yeah, they must have thought that the Draven would still take the damage, maybe. Ours is the one true light. I don't think they're going to do 17 damage to me. I guess they don't have Robins. So they're not going to be able to continue to stun, stun things. Unwavering strength! There's single combat. Draven down. I have the best job. That will hopefully give me enough stuff to go along with the fizz to kill them here. Ooh. Okay, okay. I guess so basically. Do I play two things? I guess I have to, to to have it be seven. I'm just going to play the one thing, but then I, I guess I have to just play a Spinning Axe also. So I have one spell for defense for Fizz, but I, I don't think I just... I mean, I guess I could pass. Okay. Let's see, I guess I could pass because they have to block. So I would get priority again. But I'd assume they would just block and then pass back to me. Ooh, another burn deck. This one could be a struggle. We shall see. Um, I'm 
just gonna pass. Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even like. Let's say I play Fizz and they play nothing. I'm not even gonna attack because of Jury Rig. Okay, well I'm glad I'm glad the fizz is just in play. And just give me playful trickster. Okay. Not bad either. I have the best job. We have a great curve. Great curve, great curve. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings. <clears throat> so what do I want to do? I want a whirling death. Kill one of those. Now we're cooking. Alright, which one of these do I need to kill? That's really unfortunate that they're killing my Fizz. I wanted my Fizz alive for Playful Trickster next turn. Hey, buddy, what you doing? I think we gotta kill Jinx. Oh, come on, come on. Best case scenario would have been them just challenging my Draven, like without playing that vision, and just have like their O2, they challenge my Draven to get it it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what you're doing, Fizz. We're just gonna hold hold on to this mana that can cast like Brother's Bond. Like if, if they would have challenged my Draven, and then I, you know, could have used that, I could have discarded the spinning axes and leveled up Draven. Got access, need victims. That would have been pretty nice. Thirteen. Really good draw. Got an axe with your name on it. How much damage is another vision doing to me? What you doing? If I level up Draven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down to five, uh, eight, so I'm down to four. If they have get excited, this is pretty rough. Maybe I just don't block and just go to four anyway. Keep up, keep up. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's pocket aces this. Draven, so it doesn't die to get excited. Okay. I play Sprayfin, we got six mana, which is enough for all we need.
That puts them down to one. All right, negative three. How my opponent stays alive with, like, they could stay alive with a Mystic Shot by Mystic Shotting their 1-1 one, one, or, or get excited. I guess they could, you know, they just get excited their 1-1. One, one. Wow. So, yeah, they had the third the third Mystic Shot. All right, so this is them taking eight. Plays the Lixer Wrath, put him down to two for our Noxion Fervor. Also keep my Fizz alive. So they're, they're out of Mystic Shots. That's the third one. Now we're cooking. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna have fervor, fervor my Draven, because of course Draven is a seven four. I have to watch out for their like if they draw a Draven for Whirling Death for them. I gotta watch out for that. No. Uh, I challenged over there. So yeah, Whirling Death's an option. Yeah, see, that, that's the thing is I can't, can't help. You can't do this. We live here. So now, how do I do this? Okay, so let's say, let's say I just block like this. I guess, I guess I'd have to block like this. This would force the action on them because then I'd still have the four-one elusive that I could attack them with the four-one elusive. So this would go back and force the action on them. They don't have Mystic Shots, so I don't have to worry about you know, the difference between 1 and 2 isn't much. Alright, if that last card's get excited, I lose. Got there! 5-0! I didn't see it. It went it went away too fast. I didn't see what card it actually was. Was it a Draven? Damn, I'm good. It was Whirling Death, right? Yeah, so if I would have done it during combat, like they yeah, that's that's why they challenged there. They wanted me to do that during combat and then they were gonna Whirling Death. Wow. We did it all correct. Woo, 5 0. Oh, perfect. Okay, Draven Fizz. Fizz still putting in a lot of work. Um, yeah, Fizz was awesome. So there we go. Pretty cool little Fizz deck. Um, you know, if you want to be playing uh, a, you know, a good Fizz deck, doesn't doesn't get much better than 5 0. Oh, but uh, yeah, it's happy with everything in here. We didn't really pick a card. I guess not so much, but. Didn't really need it, but you know, we didn't didn't really draw it. Um yeah, just everything everything went pretty well. Draven's very powerful, Fizz is very powerful, got some elusives. I don't love Golden Narwhal, but I think the Golden Narwhal is better than the three drop. I don't really love this lounging lizard either for this kind of deck, especially when we already have like these other threes. Like Golden Narwhal kind of fits the curve. I'm not sure if like, you know, something else would be better at two but it's fine it's fine and it can you know it, it can you can get some surprise kills with it like later on you know like because it's so cheap you can play golden narwhal and like brothers bond together in the same turn and have like a four power elusive out of nowhere so um that's uh there we go that's that's it that's draven fizz um, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Draven Fizz, and I'll see you for the next video.